Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to show you how to file an original consolidated service provider tax return. This is a login activity, so you must have a main tax portal username and be logged in to do this. We will begin on the logged in home screen in the summary tab, and we'll navigate down to our service provider tax panel, or we'll click the option to view and file returns. From here, we'll click the File Now hyperlink for the period for which we would like to file. And we're brought to the Demographic Information page. Required fields are indicated by a red asterisk or a red circled I, and you will not be able to continue until these fields have been completed. Few other notes on this page. There is a note at the top of the screen that tells you that you are filing a consolidated return. If you only intend to file for one location, we encourage you to go to your Manage Locations under your Account tab. You can also see our video about branch locations if you need additional instructions. There's also a Save Draft button at the bottom of the screen that we would like to draw your attention to. You can use this at any time to save your progress. You can also click the Cancel button. This does not save your progress or navigate back to a previous page by clicking either the previous button or a previous page name in the blue bar at the top. For now, we're just going to click next to proceed. Next, we are brought to the consolidated screen where we can see instructions for importing our consolidated schedule. We do encourage you to read these instructions thoroughly before you begin. What you'll need to do is click the Download Consolidated to export the consolidated table in the format that it needs to be in. And then you'll follow the remaining instructions to input your information before re-uploading it. We already have our consolidated schedule prepared, so we're going to click the Upload Consolidated hyperlink and click OK once we have selected that file. Here we can see that the total services column has auto-populated for each branch location. We'll confirm that this information looks right and click next to proceed. If any of your branch locations on the consolidated page had $0 in the total services provided column, you will see an additional page before breakdown of services asking you to confirm the $0 amount for that location. After doing so, or if you did not have a location with $0 in total services provided, you will be brought to the breakdown of services page that we are on now. Once you are on the breakdown of services page, we can see multiple fillable fields for various types of service. You'll enter in this information on the first three lines as applicable to you and your business. Please note that any lines with blue text for the line name are clickable and you can do that to see more information about what is being requested. The breakdown of taxable services lines are auto-populated based on the information on the consolidated screen. So you'll fill in the first three lines, make sure the other lines look accurate, and click Next to proceed. Next, we're brought to the total screen where we can see our total services subject to 6%, as well as our total tax due. If these numbers look correct, you may click Next to proceed. Next, we're brought to the documentation page. Had we entered an amount on the bad debts line of the breakdown of services, we would attach supporting documentation here. Since we did not enter any value on that line, we're going to click Next to proceed. Next, we're brought to the balance due screen where we have an amount due as reported earlier in our return. And we are asked if we'd like to make a payment now. For the purposes of today's demonstration, we're going to say yes. And click next to proceed. First, we'll enter in our payment method, either a checking or savings account, our routing number, our account number, and our account number again to confirm. We are also asked if we would like to save the payment channel for future use. For the purposes of today's demonstration, we're just going to say no. 
The payment date will default to today. Please note if you are filing a past due return, you will not be able to future date the payment date. The amount is going to default to the total due, but you may enter a lesser amount if you so choose. Either way, you'll be asked to confirm that amount again. And we'll click next to continue. We're brought to our summary screen where you may review the information if you need to change anything, you may navigate back to a previous screen, again, by clicking that previous page button or clicking any previous page name at, in the blue bar at the top. Since our information appears to be right, we'll click next to continue, where we're brought to the declaration page. We'll check the box saying that our return is true, correct, and complete and enter in the name of the person filing this return. And again to confirm. And we'll click Submit. We are brought to the confirmation screen. As always, we do encourage you to make note of this information for your records. That concludes our demonstration of how to file an original consolidated service provider tax return. Thank you all for watching.